Hello, my name is Cynthia Aid, and uh, I'm the Dean of Innovation and Pedagogical School at IGS Group in France. I would have loved to be with you in a synchronous mode during this conference, but the working from home has its advantages and disadvantages. So in this study conducted with Fatma Gurini, I took an interest in addition to the section devoted to students, to teachers and educational advisors to understand their feelings during the pandemic. Several focus groups were held uh, with uh, 116 teachers and pedagogical advisors on the following four questions in Paris. The first question, what are the positive impacts of the pandemic here on your development and professional identity? The second questions, uh, the second question concerning um, this Fox group was, what was one of your best decisions? The third question is about who or what inspired you the most this year? The, four, the fourth and last question is about what will happen next? Of course, we don't know the future, but let's imagine. What emerged from this study is the following. Concerning the first question, uh, the, what are the positive impacts of the pandemic here on your development and professional identity? What emerges is this, the following. First, creativity. What teachers have managed to do. The second is their flexibility towards problems and solutions. The third, um, what emerged is the quality of a human link human level and mainly solidarity facing the challenge. Four, discovery of new tools, profusion of tools, how to use them in a pedagogical way and when especially we are forced or the teacher are forced to appropriate them. So it was a fault of the pandemic and like it was easy to make um, mistakes and to say, okay, I'm going to learn. Five, the promotion of distance education expertise. And the last one is about period of exemplarity. What, what they mean that the teacher have innovated and led by example that time. Uh, regarding the second question, what was one of your best decisions? So five main um, answers interest us, which are first, relativize our, the, the teacher's experience according to a collective trauma uh, they lived during the pandemic. The second uh, best decision is, was about enjoying being together as a teamwork, like the teacher have worked with advisors, with the um, uh, um, um, teachers uh, dedicated uh, to online teaching, uh, with students, uh, with, with lots of stuff actually, all the community was concerned. Uh, the third best decision was about the discovery of working from home and its advantages, ecological aspects, travel only when it's an added value, etc., etc. Uh, for so the fourth best decision was about the teachers who had reviewed their teaching methodology, and they got the taste to keep that way of teaching even after the pandemic and when we're back to face to face again. And the last best decision was about um, the teacher. They have talked about their teaching that made a difference. So they were on uh, finding every time like surprise 
to let their students sparkle their eyes. So the, the, the effect of surprise was mainly very important. Regarding the third question, who or what inspired you the most this year? What emerged is mainly first shorten the teaching content because of uh, students' concentration lack. They focused on active pedagogy during the pandemic. And that was mainly what emerged from most of the teachers that we have interviewed. Um, the second one is to pre-record content before class in order to keep them active during the class. Uh, that was what they have inspired them most. Uh, third, um, it was about the uh, students, to make the students active during the training, during the teaching, uh, especially um, let them speak about their imperfect experiences, about their feelings, about what is negative. And uh, for how they have adapted teaching to the audience and how the teacher have brought back to plenary what was done in the subgroups. So was it was very important to work in subgroups and then to bring uh, what was discussed and uh, cre create the subgroups to uh, plenary. And the last one, the last uh, what inspired most this year, the teacher was about the empathy, the empathy shown by learners toward te towards their teachers. It's like they got, uh, they were impressed how teachers were involved in their well-being, in their, um, in their teaching. Uh, concerning, uh, regarding the last question, what will happen next? And as I said, of course, we don't know the future, but let us imagine what emerged that there, there is a before and an after pandemic way of teaching. The teachers say that they will not go back to the before as it was before, the before teaching. They found different ways and uh, they would like to keep their new habits of functioning. The new tools, they have learned how to use them. They will keep them in their face-to-face -face teaching if they are back to face-to-face -face teaching. Um, so, and what, what emerged as well is a face-to-face -face teaching becomes after pandemic, like a five stars teaching towards remote teaching. So the teachers say they have to fascinate their students and they have to keep their pedagogy active in order to attract students and to force them uh, between brackets to come to class. So of course, this study is still under analyzed and the new outlines will figure out in our article. So thank you for listening and hope we will uh, improve our analyze very, very soon and let you read what we have provided. Thank you again.